The men and women who catch lobster in Maine have seen the industry decline steadily, culminating in 2013. So a group from Vinyl Haven traveled nearly 700 miles down the East Coast to the William W. Wimpersinger Education and Technology Center to learn how to organize. Be organized so that we can have a voice and so that we can save the industry. Because all these years nobody's done anything and no one's ever been organized and no one's ever been committed to, to preserving it. Protecting the industry and its workers is at the heart of the organizing effort, with training provided by the International Association of Machinists and Aerospace Workers, also known as the IAM. I'm learning a lot, but organizing and planning and just trying to step back and get the big picture, because before I didn't know anything. I didn't have a direction. I think I've learned quite a lot, and I, I guess I have a new confidence that we might even be able to improve our, our business. I'm learning about unions and what a union is. Union, union to some people is a scary word, a dirty word. It's a unity. It's, it's people that, are, that come together for the same ultimate goal. The goal of making a good living at a career they love but it's all at risk. The state's always putting some sort of regulation on it. They're always making us pay for something. Price of these tags that go on our traps will go up every year. And we don't really know what that money goes for. There doesn't seem to be a lot of support from our state. You know, they claim to be, and lobster is the second biggest industry in Maine, but it just seems, it just seems like it's, we're not getting support from our state as we should. If we don't change with, with, you know, with the times, I think that we're gonna be obsolete. You know, it's, there's a lot of change coming and it's been changing and it's not for the good. Dyer wants his peers to get on board because they're all literally in the same boat. They just want to get the message out that everyone has to work together across the entire state. Basically, I, I want everybody to know that if we all, all of us, do not come together, we're gonna have the same problem this year, the next year, and every year after. At least three separate groups from different parts of Maine have spent time in the classroom brainstorming and strategizing. The Maine Lobstering Union now has its own local, and its first president is Rocky Alley, who wants to prevent low profit years despite record catches. You would think the more you catch, the more money you make, but we haven't. We've made less money because of the price of the lobster. Hundreds of members have come together to talk about their strengths, new opportunities, and how to turn them into actions for change. They've already had a couple legislative victories through organized efforts at the State House in Augusta. We didn't understand how significant that actually was, um, but I do now. I, I have a better understanding of that now. Alley testified in favor of lobster processing bonds that would help strengthen the industry and sustain coastal communities. All here agree the days and nights they spend organizing are well worth it. I have hope again, you know, and I think that's something everyone needs in their daily life is some hope. Hope that their strength in numbers, something they tell other fishermen back home. It's the beginning of a new chapter in my life and the history of my family and the tradition, so I have to be active, I have to work really hard, I have to stay in contact with all my brothers and sisters. They need to come together as a group, as, a, as one body, so that we can have one voice that agree on all the same things. We have no other options. We're out of options. This is it. What started with a few in Vinyl Haven is now gaining momentum statewide all along the coast in a way that is already changing the industry for the better. It's gonna get bigger, and we know that. And it does, the more it grows, the more power we have, the more we can actually influence our own industry, like we've always wanted to do. And it's worth sacrificing our time and money for, yeah. Yeah. for everybody else in the whole state. In order for this union to work, we need as many members as we can get. And I'm gonna go try to find some more people that'll join this union. Brothers and sisters working together for justice on the job, making sure lobster fishing remains a livelihood for generations to come. For the Machinist News Network, I'm Tanya Hutchins. That's a good one.